Wow, it seems like I've been doing hauls every day this week because, well, I have been at Trader Joe's a lot and that's crazy because Thanksgiving and the store has been nuts, but um, I did it for you guys because I wanted to haul all of the new stuff that's coming out, especially because Thanksgiving is over and now we are headed toward Christmas. And as you guys have seen, if you've been watching all my hauls, I've been showing you guys a lot of Christmas stuff. So that means that even more Christmas stuff is coming because it's Trader Joe's and that's what they do, that they do this to us. I wanted to kick off this haul by showing you guys this brand new decorate your own holiday ornaments kit. This is so cute. When I saw this in the store, I was like, yes, 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 yes. This is the cutest thing ever. I have a three-year-old and how fun would this be to decorate? Um, I have shared in the past, I make cookies every year and I do cut out cookies, but they never turn out, never turn out like they do in these pictures. Um, and so this is just a really easy way to, you know, decorate some cookies and not have to bake anything. You just pull them out of the box. So there's eight cookies that this kit includes. It also comes with the icing and the sprinkles on the cookies that you can decorate. So very, very cute and I cannot wait to open this and do this with my son. It's gonna be fun. Now, there's one more thing that I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I have a really awesome coworker who has been making little Christmas ornaments for the past, I think, this is gonna be his third year, and he gifted me the two previous year's ornaments, and I had to share them with you because they are so dang cute. So this is the first one. He did the Trader Joe's classic can of corn, and this looks literally identical to like the Trader Joe's can of corn. He even added the little ornament thing to hang. Um, but yes, he made this, and he made a bunch of them and shared them with the crew. And then he also made this one. I think this one was last year, so the corn was the first year. And this one's the Candy Cane JoJo's. Um, and it li literally looks like the box of Candy Cane JoJo's. So cute. If you guys are new to my channel, please subscribe. I'd love to have you join. I do Trader Joe's videos once a week. Give this video a thumbs up if you love Trader Joe's like I do. It really helps me out to get my videos out there for everyone to see. And yeah, let's go ahead and kick off this Trader Joe's haul. I'm going to start right here with some frozen items so you guys will see this is not very much of a holiday haul. This is just a normal weekly Trader Joe's haul, which I think we can all appreciate because it's been a lot of sweets and things that we can't buy and eat on the rig. So... Got some mashed cauliflower. I just really, really love this package of cauliflower. It's so good and super easy and it's a great side to have. And I make it all the time. I also got some green beans. So I'm shooting this haul before Thanksgiving because I'm not gonna be here for Thanksgiving and the day after. So I wanted to get this haul shot and ready to go, but you'll be seeing this after Thanksgiving. But I got these because I'm making the green bean casserole and I'm just using the um, frozen green beans in the package. By the way, someone had asked me to share with them a vegan Thanksgiving side and I just didn't have time to shoot that video. So I apologize, there's just a lot going on. But someone gave me a wonderful recipe for a vegan green bean casserole hack. So maybe for next year, or if you just wanna do this for Christmas, it's essentially the exact same thing as you'd make green bean casserole. So you use the green beans, the crispy onions, and then instead of the cream of mushroom, you just use the vegan gravy that's sold at Trader Joe's in the refrigerated section. Actually, let me show you guys. So I literally just pulled this out of my fridge. This is the organic savory vegan gravy, new this year. I did haul this previously, but this is vegan, so you can use this instead of the cream of mushroom, and it works exactly like cream of mushroom, and then you would have your vegan side. So hopefully that's helpful for anyone that's vegan. There is an option for green bean casserole. Um, I also grabbed some Middle Eastern flatbread. We ran out of that this week. I got this sourdough this time. So this is the sliced sourdough, and this is more of the traditional that you see typically. And I thought this would be good for sandwiches. And then I bought the sourdough sandwich bread, which I use for toast. I know, it's, the, it's irony to the max because it's sandwich bread and I bought this for sandwiches. 
Um, weird, I know, but that's what I'm doing. So I love sourdough. My whole family does. That's just our favorite bread. That's why I got two. Next up, we have the egg frittata. This is a frozen item. I absolutely love this. I eat this every so often. It's pretty pricey to eat every day, but I actually had this this morning and I wanted to share with you guys. Um, I held this previously too. This is the chili onion crunch. Obviously it's open. I use it a lot. This is so delicious on top of this. It makes it so much better. So I've been eating that with the chili onion crunch. I got some potato pancakes, traditional latkes, and since Hanukkah's coming up, I thought, why not? I'm not Jewish, but I love latkes, and they're delicious, and Trader Joe's sells a really good one, and these are super easy to make in the air fryer if you have one. I got Tim a chicken tikka masala for work. Grabbed two slices of different cheeses. So I got the Colby Jack and then the Swiss. I also grabbed a couple um, bagged lettuces. So I got the Organic Caesar Salad Kit. This is one of my favorites. And this one is my favorite, the Southwest Chopped Salad. I've showed these so many times, but I really just needed some lettuce. And with the romaine recall, it's been hard to find lettuce, but Trader Joe's, Everything's cleared for the romaine right now um, besides the stuff that they've already pulled. So that's good um, Soft and juicy mandarins if you know, you know Got the wild berry smoothies for my son This is brand spanking new. It's the peppermint foaming hand soap. This is the first year. We've carried this um, I'm excited to try this. It's a really pretty container, too I love that it's like clear, but it has a pretty pattern in the back it's, it looks like it's gonna be a good one for the holidays. You're also probably seeing this, the cocoa cream liqueur. So I'm typically not the biggest liqueur drinker. However, someone said that if you put this in your coffee or like in hot chocolate, it's delicious. And I was like, ooh, that's a great idea because I had to buy it to show you guys so now I have to drink it, right? Isn't that the rule? <laughs> Next up, I got the cinnamon rolls and the reason I purchased these was because my son's birthday is on Thanksgiving this year and I am making him some cinnamon rolls in the morning so it's you know it's more of a special breakfast and I just thought he would really enjoy this so that's why I grabbed those. Next up I got the smart tenders these are plant-based chicken there's 14 grams of protein in these guys these are refrigerated if you're looking for them they're usually around like where the pizza dough is and things like that but I love these. As a vegetarian, these come in handy so much. I can chop these up and put them in a salad. I can bread them because they're they don't they're not breaded. But I have those rice breadcrumbs that Trader Joe's sells, and it'd be really cool to just bread these and then even air fry them. Get them a little crispy. Um, not only are they good in salads, they're really good on pizza. I made a barbecue chicken pizza once with these, and they were so delicious. And basically anything you want to put chicken in, this is like the perfect alternative, like chicken quesadillas, whatever. But super simple and easy to make and also very delicious. Grabbed another roasted garlic hummus. We've been flying through hummus this week. I think we haven't been sitting down to eat real meals. We've just been like eating snack foods because we've been crazy busy. And then I also grabbed the three layer hummus. This is Tim's favorite. This one has the traditional on top, cilantro jalapeno in the middle, and then the spicy on the bottom. Super yummy, love that one. Grabbed my favorite chili of all time, the Harvest Vegan Chili. This is so delicious, especially if you make a baked potato and you just dump this on top. Oh my gosh, it is so good. Even my three-year-old will eat the entire, I'll make him a little bowl and he'll eat everything off his plate. He loves that, that meal. Super easy and simple too. Just got some bananas, real basic. Here's the holiday ornament cookie kit that I sh showed you guys in the intro. Then we got the chocolate peppermint loaf and baking mix. So I had planned on showing this in the last haul, but Someone took all of them from the shelf. So I got it this time. Yay! And this is the box I was telling you that would mix really well with the minty marshmallows. So if you were curious, this is what it is, um, or you can just cook it as is. Look at this. Look at that picture, man. That looks so dang good. And then the very last thing in this haul is the Israeli feta. This is the sheep's milk feta cheese in brine. I think. I'm pretty sure this is the replacement of the pastures of Eden 
feta. That was my absolute favorite feta that Trader Joe's sold, but they got rid of it. So I'm thinking this is the new one that's replacing it. Really excited to have some new feta back in. I can't wait to try this. So here it is. It's a very small haul this week and just not too many new items. So not gonna be doing a taste test this week just because there's not enough stuff. Um, maybe next week I'll try that feta on camera to let you guys know how it is because I'm sure a lot of you are interested in hearing how that is. Well, that does it for this week's Trader Joe's haul. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I know this one had a lot more of just our personal stuff because we needed to shop for that and not so many treats. But of course, there's treats always because it's the season for treats. So I will see you guys next week with a new Trader Joe's haul and I will be announcing the winner of the Trader Joe's giveaway on Tuesday, December 3rd. I said Friday, but I meant Tuesday, December 3rd. So make sure you are subscribed, your bell notification is turned on, you give this video a thumbs up, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.